Okay, so Sheffield Wednesday nil, Burnley two. What a better performance that was today from the Clarets. Miles better from the Peston game. That two-week break that we've had from the internationals has done us wonders, I think. it's You can see a massive improvement from today's game. Um, I thought at the start, the first 10, 15 minutes, I did think Sheffield Wednesday came out the blocks better. Um, they were putting pressure on our defence. They were high pressing. Um, you know, they were getting in our faces and they had a couple of good opportunities I thought that you know they were trying to look for a penalty here and there but the uh they were getting in behind um I did get a little bit worried at, at first um you know they had the momentum behind them you know they've, they've got some good results of late I think did they beat West Brom at home three two or something like that um starting to build some confidence but as the game went on Burnley started to um get control of the game I like today how um, we were looking for that ball over the top of the, the defence, trying to look for something a bit different, really. Um, obviously, we've been trying to like pass it out wide and try to let the uh, wingers like take on man for man, but we tried to do something a little bit different today, which was really refreshing to see, really. You know, um, CJ Egan Riley was obviously trying to do that and I think for one of the goals it, it works. I think it came from him. Yes, the, the defender like had a bit of a sloppy play, um, not getting uh, the ball cleared. But Anthony got in there and uh, took his chance. Great finish. And um, I think we we just edged uh, to go ahead in, in that. Um. Yeah, we. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was really good, and um, we had uh, Fleming as well. They had that shot with his left foot on the first half, unlucky. But yeah, as the game got on and on, I, I just thought we just had more control. Looked like Cullen had a bit more time on the ball to uh, keep the ball ticking over. Um, some great individual in perform performances today. Um, I think Laurent Laurent had a really good game. Um, you know, got stuck in very well. Um, spreading that ball. Um, he was looking, you know, uh, taking players on on the wing, just making that run forward beyond the striker. Uh, who else played well? I thought Fleming did really, really well today. I think he was my man of the match. Just the way he was just shifting his weights, you know, um, holding the ball, uh, making it extremely difficult for the centre-backs. And it showed for this, the second goal, um, as we were, like, bursting through in the middle. I thought he had his uh, chance to take a, a shot on his left foot, but I thought he took it a bit too further, but he just, he just bashed that centre-half out of the way. And uh, he had that shot, went up in the air and, and you know, Brownhill uh, slotted it in. But I, I thought he put in a great shift into there. He uh, allowed all the midfield and uh, the uh, the wingers to move on up. And uh, yeah, it, it was really, really good today. I'm quite impressed by him. And yeah, Bra Brownhill getting another goal. Five goals in 10 games. Wow. That's not to be uh, sniffed about, is it? So he's, he's on good form. Even though I thought he was missing in parts of it, he stepped up, scored a goal. That's what it's all about. Um, who else shone for me today? Uh, yeah, I thought Cullen did well. I, I, uh, I tell you what, Trafford, I thought he looked more uh, in control of the game. I thought... He was collecting the ball a lot better in the air, apart from that one right towards the end of the game, uh, where he kind of like fluffed it and he should have scored towards the end. And I think there was one dodgy pass where he played in the middle, but uh, Laurent like tidied it up, so he got away with that one. But I thought his overall performance, he, he looks miles more confident. He was picking the ball and he was throwing it out on the wing really quickly. 
Um, we were looking for them balls, you know, long over out wide. I thought I thought it did a really good job today. I, I, massive, massive improvement. Great to see Brown. Uh, sorry, great to see Connor Roberts uh, slipping into right back. It, it just looks a bit miles more balanced at the back. We look even more solid. Thought Humphreys did a cracking job on the left hand side. Obviously, more comfortable than being on the right. Um, yeah, he, he just looks rock solid. Doesn't look like any wingers are going to get past him, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, um, really, really good win that from the Clarets. Another great start as well that we've got another clean sheet under our belts. I think we've only conceded one in six games, if I remember rightly. So that is absolutely fantastic from the boys. Uh, that must give them massive confidence now. Um, but yeah, it, it was good to see like the likes of Hannibal just getting a bit of a rest. Hopefully they'll start rotating it for the next game, uh, hold, keep the players fresh, and uh, hopefully we can kick on, um, get some good results now coming up. Hull away, QPR at home. You know these are the games we need to get in three points in each of them and start breaking away from, you know, from third to six. And start climbing up that table properly, um, getting that gap. I know we're at the top today, but we'll have to see what how Sunderland do. But yeah, can't grumble today. They've they've put a real good shift in today, and we've got the goals that we were, we were screaming out for. Another clean sheet, nothing to grumble about. We're on the up. Let's stay positive. Come on, Scott Parker and the boys. Come on. Till next time, up the clarets.